Hey everybody, this is Brett, and today I'm super excited to go over this brand new 2023 Jeep Wrangler two-door Willis Sport Package in Earl Clear Coat. This one has the 3.6 liter V6 Pentastar engine. It's paired up with the eight-speed automatic transmission. It's gonna get you 24 miles per gallon highway 20 city for an average of 21 miles per gallon. Now I'm gonna go all the way around in this video. We'll go inside, check out the interior options. We'll go under the hood and just go over everything that the Willis package um, offers you. Earl clear coat was a new color for this year and the paint coat is PGP. You can see it's kind of a light gray. It's got a little bit of an aqua um, hue to it. I guess you could say greenish blue. It's really a light color. You get the gloss black grill with the Willis package as well as the gloss black trim around the fog light bezels there. Under the hood, like I said, we have the, the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine. And that gets you 285 horsepower and 260 foot pounds of torque. Everything that you need to um, for maintenance wise, as far as washer fluid, coolant, um, brake fluid and oil, everything like that is in yellow. And uh, the emission sticker is right here. Once again, that's paired up with the eight speed automatic transmission. It's gonna get you 24 highway, 20 city, and an average of 21 miles per gallon. Get these hoods and just close them like so. Don't forget to do the other side. Otherwise, um, what's nice is if you do forget, they do have a warning light saying that the hood is not closed all the way. I don't know if they always had that, but I think uh, that's new for the JL. You get the Moab black 17 inch painted alloy wheels. You get the um, gray Jeep on there. This one comes with BF Goodrich Mud Terrain TA tires. These are LT255 75R17 with the Mud Terrain tread pattern to them. Now that these tires are special for the Willis package. Notice you get the plastic fenders, you get the Willis decals on the side. Some people say Willis, some people say Willys. Um, it's highly debated. Uh, you get the sandals there on the shroud. You also get the Jeep climbing up the side. I say Willis. I saw a couple videos explain why it's Willis and seems to make sense to me. So the Willis package also gives you the rock rails on the bottom, just like a Rubicon. You get the blacked out Jeep and Wrangler lettering on the side. If you notice the doors, they say T50. That's not a coincidence. That's for the Torx wrench that you need to get these bolts out um, to take these doors off. Did a video on how to take your jail doors off. That's in the upper right hand part of the screen and linked in the description below. Here's the original window sticker. Let's check this out. Two door Willis Sport 4x4. Earl clear coat is the color, black interior, and uh, the 3.6 with the eight speed automatic transmission. Now everything on this side is your standard equipment. And then the optional equipment starts with the Earl clear coat, which is 495. The customer preferred package 25K is the Willis package, which is a $29.95 option. You get the 17 by seven and a half inch Moab black aluminum wheels, the rock protection sill rails, the deep tint sunscreen windows, the anti-spin differential, and the molding color bumper with the gloss black, which I showed you, and of course the all-weather floor mats by Mopar. The eight-speed automatic transmission is $4,250, and that comes with the 3.6, and then you get the black piece, three-piece hardtop, which is $1,895. Um, Sirius XM for six months is $2.95, and this one has a connected services delete credit. So you save $1,440 by getting the Willis package over a sport with everything added to it. Um, $42,755 is the total MSRP to get your summit price. And uh, with all the rebates and incentives on this particular Wrangler in the upper right hand part of the screen, it's a link, link to our website. It's also linked in the description below. So get your summit price there. Three year 36 bumper to bumper, five year 60 powertrain, 24 highway, 20 city, and 21. Um, average for combined, combined miles per gallon. Front crash rating of four and three of rollover, otherwise it's not rated for anything. We'll check out more of the interior in just a second. Four wheel disc brakes on the Wrangler. You get the matching spare tire and wheel on the back. LED license plate lights. 
back storage area, you get the bag for the front hard top pieces. These seats, they come out and they fold up. So if you didn't want to take them all the way out, you can fold them up like so, and then you get a pretty decent space to store things. And if you wanted to take them out, you just grab this bar, pull that down, it releases, and then you can roll it right out of there. So that's pretty cool as well. To get this down, or to get it back up, just push it down like that, grab that strap, and then it locks it into place. These hard tops, they're pretty easy to get off. You got four bolts on each side, two quick disconnects. Um, we actually did a demo on how to take your hard top off your Wrangler, and that's in the upper right-hand part of the screen and linked in the description below as well. One thing to note, on this back door here, you get seven slots as well. Um, kind of a Jeep thing with the grill and those slots in back for the seven continents that Jeep has been on. Uh, you get the jail uh, plaque back here, I guess you could say, with a two-door, four-door wheelbase and overall length, as well as water fording. Got to close the glass first before you close the rear door. No shut nice and smoothly. The old ones always had like a herky-jerky motion to them. Those go real smooth. Uh, you get the trail rated badge on the driver's side only. Inside, you get the black cloth interior, the driver's seat height adjuster, bucket seats in front to get to those back seats. You gotta do that. Latch child safety system. If you wanna try and get a car seat back there, I guess that's up to you. Uh, one thing to note on these seats, you do get side airbags standard on the JL now. And the all weather topographical floor mats, which are pretty sweet. Tilt telescopic steering wheel. This one has manual locks, manual windows. And we'll hop inside, look at the instrument cluster and radio real quick. 10 miles on this one. You can dim that instrument cluster. You do get a digital speedometer on there. Uh, this one just has the normal kind of urethane steering wheel, I guess you could say, or the rubber steering wheel. You get cruise controls on the right, Bluetooth and information center controls on the left, and you do get the audio controls on the back of the steering wheel. This one has the Uconnect 7-inch radio. This one has AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities on it. You can also do Projection Manager, where you can project your cell phone to the screen via Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. We actually did a demo on Android Auto with the Uconnect 8.4 radio. A little bit bigger radio, but it's the same operating system. Uh, you can check that out in the upper right hand of the screen, but what you can do with that is you can project your cell phone up there, and if you have Waze or Google Maps on your phone, project it right there, and then it's like you have nav right on the screen, so that's a really, really nice system to have. The other thing is you have your backup camera there, which they've made those crystal clear and uh, really nice and standard. Down here are your climate controls. You have your start-stop capabilities, your stability control, your speed select crawl control, down here you get your media center where you have an AUGS, USB, and USB-C hookup, push button start, 4x4 shifter, and your 8-speed automatic transmission. So this one has the flipper key to get into the vehicle. Um, and you do need the key because it is um, proximity key so it knows when the key is inside the vehicle for that push button start. The other cool thing about the Sport slash Willis package is you get this mineral gray dash, which I always thought looked really good. I like it over the um, Rubicon red dash. And then you get the eggshell finish to the front hard top pieces. And that's about it. Start it up and I'll do a final walk around here. And one more look at that Earl clear coat when everything is lit up. Really like the color. I think this is about as natural of light as that you're going to get. I mean, like I could go outside and show you it in the sunlight, but this is pretty much what it looks like in person. I know a lot of people have commented on it, but uh, thanks for checking out the video. And to see more pictures of this Jeep or one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, you name it, we got to go to that website right there, summitauto.com, full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle, all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto.
click the bell notifications, you'll get updates on the videos I do each and every day, as well as access to one of the largest catalogs of vehicle walkarounds on YouTube. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to more Wrangler videos are done in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out. We're super excited to help you with this brand new 2023 Jeep Wrangler Willis Sport and Earl Clearco. Thanks again for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks again.